train rattled through the frozen forest, its wheels clanking against the rails in the dead of a cold, early 90s night. Inside, warmth enveloped the three women seated together in one of the cabins Sonia, a hardened lawyer with sharp eyes, Lila, an ex-convict with a nervous twitch, and Mace, an ex-military officer, silent and steady as stone. They had just pulled off the perfect bank robbery, or so they thought. Outside, the trees were skeletons under the thick blanket of frost, the wind howling as it whipped through the night. Ice had crusted over the windows, the darkness beyond impenetrable. Inside, tension hummed between them, their thoughts flickering to the stolen money hidden beneath their seats. Then, the train lurched and screeched to a halt. They exchanged looks. Could it be the cops? Leela whispered, her voice trembling. Keep calm, Maid muttered. We're not caught yet. But the atmosphere inside the train had shifted. Something was wrong. Passengers whispered in low tones, eyes darting toward the windows. Then came the first scream. Piercing, it sliced through the silence, followed by frantic footsteps. People were vanishing, disappearing from their cabins, their belongings left behind. The three women ventured down the corridor, the train dimly lit by flickering bulbs. They found a cabin full of bodies. Leela gagged while Sonia backed away, hand over her mouth. The corpses were pale, almost translucent, as though their blood had been drained. Something isn't right, Sonia whispered. May knelt by one of the bodies, her expression unreadable. We need to leave, now. But as they turned to flee, more screams echoed through the train. The lights flickered once, twice, and then went out completely. They were enveloped in darkness, only the faint sounds of death all around them. Suddenly, Sonia gasped. Where's May's? A rustle in the shadows. Then, a low, menacing voice. Right here. May stepped forward, her eyes glowing red in the dark. Her smile revealed sharp, gleaming fangs. I've waited centuries for a night like this. Before they could scream, she was upon them, death swift, inescapable. The train rattled onward leaving nothing but silence.